All right. Hey, everybody, we're back uh, for another poll discussion. And uh, I put up two last week, both about uh, Indiana Jones, since we're kind of in the middle of discussing the uh, the opening of the new film coming up this week. <laughs> um, so the first poll I put up, let me go ahead and uh, and read this, is uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is fast approaching. Looking back at the franchise, who is your favorite female lead from the series? Uh, and of course, the three I put on there are Karen Allen as Marion Ravenwood, uh, who was in Raiders and Crystal Skull, Willie Scott, played by Kate, Kate Capshaw, Temple of Doom, and oh, Dr. Definitely. Elsa Schneider, played by Allison Duty uh, in The Last Crusade. Uh, so the results came back. Uh, pretty understandably resounding win for, for Marion Ravenwood by Karen yeah. Allen, uh, 82%. So quite a few of you that prefer, prefer her. Dr. Elsa Schneider came in a very distant second place at 13%. <laughs> and Willie Scott... Had that little uh, problem of being a Nazi that might have held her back. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> and then Willie Scott uh, barely has a pulse at 6%. <laughs> <laughs> right. <So, laughs> when Kate and why. Capshaw's character. So, uh, so let's talk about that. Uh, I'm sure there's no uh, real surprise in the results of that poll from you guys. What do you think? No, no, I, yeah. I, uh, I voted for Karen Allen definitely, and it's she just, was really the only one worth bringing back. You know, they knew that I think when they brought her back in Crystal Skull. Yeah. Um, she's uh, the actress. I mean, she is just wonderful. She commanded the screen from the time she first appeared in the first film. Um, the other characters. I mean, it's not the fault of the actresses. I just don't think the other characters were given the kind of power that she was and the interest i mean she's drinking people she looks like a 90 pound woman drinking people under the table mm -hmm. and making her first appearance you know <laughs> and so yeah. there's just so much that's interesting and you want to know about that character's background you know there's you just gravitate toward her from the very beginning and the other two characters i just don't think were developed that powerfully and um Unfortunately, Kate Capshaw got saddled with the kind of, mm -hmm. I, I think, kind of stereotypical, well, damsel mm -hmm. in distress thing in the second movie. Yeah. Um, and she, got a, she got a husband out of it, though. Yeah, she did. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> she ended up married to Steven Spielberg. She became Spielberg. a Spielberg yeah, out of the deal. Yeah, yeah. But no, I, I think that uh, it's kind of surprising to me that others would prefer someone else over her as the no, if that, home, but... if that poll had been any different, I would know that just to hang it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The internet is completely out of control. I have no idea what's going to happen anymore. <laughs> and, uh, have either of you met um, uh, the lady who played Marion? Karen uh, Allen? Karen Allen, yeah. I have not, no. Yeah, we saw her at um, you were there with convention, me? yeah, in Nashville. It was it. Oh, it was, uh, so... Oh, dude, was it Nashville? No, I think I it was Pensacon. So. Pensacon. Oh, it was Pensacon when they yeah. did the yeah. uh, Indiana Jones panel. Yeah, like, I wasn't able to go. Panel. I wanted to go that year, but I wasn't yeah. able to go that year. I went the next year. Yeah. Yeah, she was so nice. Um, she signed a um, the the baseball film she was in, the kids' baseball film. She signed a jersey. Oh, nice. Uh, for me, and she put. Um, on my, on our poster, she put, "I'm your GD partner." <laughs> and I asked her, "I said, you have any problem with uh <laughs> with putting a curse word on there?" <laughs> said, no, not at all. I was like, "Okay, that's great." So that's my favorite quote from your character in there. So, so she put that quote on there. But uh, but she was terrific and and um, just really really great with fans and stuff, and also great in the interviews and stuff like the panel we saw her in. Um, we have that up on our channel if anybody wants to go back and revisit it. It's from a few years ago, um, probably 2018 or 2019. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll try to remember to include the link several, in the description. Yeah, there was several, uh, you know, several members of the cast from uh, from different indie films were there. Um, and It was so, predominantly Raiders, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was predominantly Raiders. Yeah, Paul they had, Freeman they and Wolf Collar and uh, Paul Freeman, Wolf Collar, John yeah. Rice Davies, mm -hmm. um, Karen Allen, Karen Allen, and uh, and um, Julian uh, Glover. Nice. So he yeah. he kind of cut it, but they had some interesting things to say about Harrison Ford and and the Raiders films in general. And uh, it sounds like just the tip of the iceberg. I bet there was a ton of great stories from the set of those films. But um, so anyway, yeah. The, the world isn't completely insane yet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so if that poll came out that way. Yeah. But, uh, 
I voted for her, so mm -hmm. I voted on the poll. So yeah, I did as well. And uh, yeah, for me, I mean, she was always the best, the best uh, sidekick with Harrison Ford's uh, Indiana Jones. I thought mm -hmm. uh, she, I thought she always kind of had an interesting sort of balance with her character she wasn't like this total in your face kick-ass type character but at the same time she wasn't the willie scott damsel in distress he had a mouse you know type no. either yeah. you know she was she really had a little bit of both but but in a balance you know and i, I thought that's what helped to get kind of round her character out even better uh but yeah i i, I thought she did by far the best job of uh, of any of the other uh female leads in, in the other films and she got way more screen time and yeah, yeah. and um she was the one that when you think of a of a female that could keep up with the Indiana Jones, even though, yeah, you know, she was kind of bitching the whole time about what he was getting her into. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, hurry up and rescue me and all that. Um, she did keep up with him, you know, and she was her own kind of she had a real strong personality without mm -hmm. being over the top, which mm -hmm. um, Spielberg films, especially and those kind of things in the 80s as they went along became bigger and bigger and more telegraphed you know like oh, you know yeah. exactly what the character was supposed to be and everything and so she i don't know if it was from karen allen or what but she played it perfectly where she somehow came under that uh without overdoing it you know yeah. um, which yeah. you could see is so easy to do in movies mm -hmm. like 1941 and temple of doom and things yeah. like that <laughs> <laughs> so um even et although the performances and stuff are perfect in that and everything but you know what i'm saying it's that yeah spirit technique of if you overplay it at all you you just come out like a stage actor or something <laughs> shouting in a movie when you shouldn't be you should be whispering but uh anyway so yeah nice poll what uh, yeah, yeah. what else we got uh okay so the other poll i put up i actually took um i took gundark's advice and threw up a uh a pick a, a poll for just what's your favorite indiana jones adventure and uh, listed the four movies, of course. And um, in spite of the fact that I thought, you know, Temple of Doom was going to run away with it in a landslide, it didn't. I know, I know you're shocked. Oh, uh, <laughs> however, I am surprised at the results. Um, coming in at number one was the original Raiders of the Lost Ark. However, a very close second, because Raiders was only at 43% of people's favorite. Wow. 39% uh, is Last Crusade. Wow. wow. That's a whole lot closer than I anticipated. And this is based off of 150 votes at this point. And I just put this, I put this up less than, less than 24 hours ago. And, so, yeah. uh, and I'd say that I, I'm kind of shocked that last crusade is that close to wow. it. I thought, honestly, yeah. I thought it would be almost like the last poll. I figured Raiders would have like a 80, 85% mm -hmm. advantage, but it doesn't. Uh, yeah, Temple, I would have been there. Temple of, Doom you, is yeah. third. Temple of Doom is third with 13% and kingdom of the crystal skull comes in at 4%. Again, barely oh. on life support. <laughs> so... <laughs> Someone trying to be, you know, just throw a monkey wrench in the poll. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that's actually their favorite. <laughs> so, so, uh, but hey, if it's your favorite, then by all means. Yeah. <laughs> You've always been into Crystal Skulls since you were a youngster before the movie. <laughs> right, right. And you oh, suddenly what about any passion. Crystal Skull reference in media yet? Yeah. <laughs> have, have there been any comments? I haven't had a chance to. Look. Uh, not on the not on the favorite film one. The only thing we got on. Let me see if we have any comments on the other one. Uh, on the leading ladies poll, we have uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Matthew Dewar, uh, 9271, said uh, Marion had a more of an action adventure feel to her character. Uh, and then, oh boy, uh, at user dash LX9J6, JG, one Bot. UI2R, Bot. <laughs> just mentioned that they have a signed uh, photo of Karen Allen, who is their favorite. Oh, wait, I know who this is. I think I do too. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly who this is. <laughs> oh, it's probably Christy, right? That's, that's, yeah, yeah, it's Christy. That's a friend of the show. That's our, one of our friends that, have, that goes from way back. I didn't, yeah, because she's commented before with her name. I don't know what this user thing came up with. That's really odd. Okay, so, so thank you, Christy, for posting. <laughs> she has now become a cyborg. Bot. Yes, apparently so. She's been assimilated into the Borg. <laughs> nice. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think that everybody here agrees with the results. Uh, not maybe not as emphatically uh, as as or as as narrowly, I guess I should say, as those two films are. I, I would have I, done. I would have been even weirder, and I would have put the young Indiana Jones adventures in there. 
Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, I you know what? I don't even think too. about that. I don't even yeah, think about it's that. Mm-hmm. not really yeah. the same because it's, you know, of course, different actors. You're talking like a whole series, uh, yeah, versus a film. There's got to be yeah. some a few fans of that out there, though. Oh, yeah, it was a great yeah. quality show. Mm-hmm. Um, I confess, I've never, I only saw bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've not when, seen the whole thing. Um, I've probably seen about two thirds of it, but I've never seen the whole thing. What was your opinion of it? I, I enjoyed it, but it was. I, I enjoyed it more for the. It's one of those things. Uh, let me put it this way: if the name Indiana Jones hadn't been on it, I wouldn't have even watched it. You know, right. it's you know what got me intrigued was the Young Indiana Jones Adventure. I'd never watched it back in the day. I didn't watch it when it was originally on. Uh, I watched this maybe six years ago, because at the time it was on Amazon Prime. So I said, well, let me give this a shot. So I started watching it. And uh, like I said, I made it. And now these are the newer versions. I don't know if you're aware of how they took the old episodes and then they would take two episodes and put it and mash them together and try to make a like a two hour movie out of them. Oh, and oh. I, I thought that was because I was I didn't know that going in. And I was like, this is weird. It's like all this <laughs> other stuff happened at first. And now it's like a totally different story. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> and then I finally read up on like, oh, they actually took two separate episodes, mashed them together to make a movie out of them. So uh, anyway, but they, they did them in chronological order. So that it, at least yeah. it, it's not like they were jumping from age groups to age group. But, I gotcha. But I, I enjoyed it, you know, just for the, for what it was. Um, and I would like to finish the series uh, if it ever shows up anywhere. It's not available on any streaming service anywhere right now. So um that's yeah, hopefully, cool. hopefully they'll show that, and I'll uh, I'll be able to finish it up. But everything I just, I just got into the point to where Christian uh, or or was it, what's his name uh, Flannery? I yeah, I can't think of his name right now. Charles but... Patrick Flannery or something like that. Anyway, yeah, I can't yeah, remember it was if it's Charles or bit. not. But anyway, uh, yeah, Sean he, Patrick Flannery. Sean Patrick Flannery. Yeah, where he started uh, taking over the role, and uh, though I saw like maybe two episodes of his, and that was it. Oh, they switched Indiana's. Is he yeah, as he got older. older yeah, yeah. He started okay. out. He's like he's like eight or nine years old, and then oh, okay. And then Sean Patrick Flannery he plays him when he's like teenager and early twenties. That's yeah. interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and I I never did see the epi- I never did see the episode where uh, Harrison Ford actually makes a cameo. So. Oh wow! Oh, nice. I didn't know yeah. that Harrison, was one. Yeah, Harrison Ford nice. is actually in one episode, and it's not like a cameo, like oh. Oh, did you see him wearing the bag in the background? You didn't know yeah. it was him. He actually plays himself in a in in one of the cutscenes. You mean he plays Indiana? He plays. That's what I'm saying. He play. I mean, not himself. But you know what I mean. He plays his character. Yeah, he plays oh, Indiana wow. Jones in several cutscenes. Oh. Yeah, he's where he's got like a full beard and mustache, and I think he was filming. I think he was filming <laughs> oh. um, the fugitive. He was filming the fugitive at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. And apparently they were they, the the two studios were very close, and they asked him to come over and do it, and he came over and actually <clears throat> filmed just in one day, and like I think like two hours, they filmed all the scenes they needed from him, and they they interspersed them throughout the episodes. That's, that's I've, good. I've I've seen like cutscenes from it, but I've never seen yeah. the actual full episode. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah very cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. I want to say one more thing about that poll. Um, now that I know the results, I didn't know the results before we started talking. Uh, I'm shocked. I was really rethinking. I suggested you put up this poll. And after I did, I thought, oh my God, that's just kind of useless. It's going to be 100% Raiders of the Lost yeah, Ark. Well, I actually thought nobody will that. vote for yeah, any other before film. Before I put up the leading ladies <laughs> one, I, so I thought, oh, let me put up a favorite. Like, oh, nobody's got It's just all yeah. going to be It's going to be 100% Raiders. And then you suggested, like, yeah, I'll, let me go ahead and just throw one up. We could use another poll. Just put it up real quick. Took me five minutes, you know. So I, I put it on there. I couldn't believe, yeah, that it was that close. Yeah. Yeah, so that that is very interesting. I mean, most mm-hmm. people that I've talked to tend to prefer the um the one with Sean Connery as the second most favorite to Raiders. Mm-hmm. But I'm really surprised that many people chose it as their favorite over the original film because the original film was just considered like a classic. It's got it's so, just its own thing, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think honestly, Greedo summed it up best last week when we were talking about it, and he basically, yeah, it really kind of rang r- rang true what he said. He's like, you know, after you know, seeing the Temple of Doom for the first time, it finally realized that they're never going to be able to recreate Raiders of the yeah. Lost Ark. It's like that was a one time you know lightning striking moment yeah. you know everything you know the stars mm. aligned and then they're gonna try but they're never gonna get there you know that and, the, and you know part of the reason for that is star wars is a continuing story right so something different is going to happen each one of them indiana jones is kind of the same thing over yeah. right yeah. right so i mean some things advance and you get some wrinkles and things like sure. indiana's dad and his dad's relationship but you're going after an artifact you're having an adventure 
-hmm. It's resolved by the end, ironically, somehow, you know, a lesson is learned or whatever, you know, you never end up up with what you started out for. And you get a lot of, you know, brawling and good old Americana and stuff along the way. Yeah. And, uh, and, and set action pieces, but it's, it's kind of like, and 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 it's guaranteed that this will be forgotten by history too. Like he never, Indiana never does yeah. that they right. come out and say, you're now famous, Indiana Jones. Right. He never does history. anything that the world yeah, knows. It's kind of yeah. just, yeah, it just resets back to where the mystery is still intact and yeah, and nobody's the wiser for it. So these things just keep happening. Whereas Star Wars was is a continuing, still ongoing story. You can go any number of directions with it. So yeah. it's hard to recapture that magic of all those initial bursts of creativity and ideas and um um, can we do this and just the magic lightning in a bottle and all that and like like you said a lot of ideas get carried over in the same for star wars but most of the time <clears throat> and, and sometimes it's because you have more resources and you can finally do these ideas most of the time though they're kind of the ideas that weren't the best in the first place like the best ones yeah got cold off the top you know that everybody agreed on were great or whatever that you really wanted to see and so you end up with b and c and d and even mm-hmm. further ideas um, because you don't have time to develop all the action pieces and all the things. And anyway, so actually we don't want to get derailed by that, but that's probably one of the reasons why it's so hard to recapture Raiders, even if they did a shot by shot remake with the most charismatic actor we have now. And the, you know what I mean? It, it, would, happen. It, yeah. no, no, it would be terrible. Happen. It would be absolutely terrible. <laughs> the best yeah. thing I've seen is those is those kids who did their own version, <laughs> yeah. and then they went back years later and filmed the 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 airplane fight scene with with like a hundred thousand dollars they got they raised to do it <laughs> to finish their film. Um, but that was a, you know, that was just charming and full of passion and for these yeah. you know these kids, and it was just it was just fantastic to see. But but other than that, <laughs> you can't recapture it. You just can't. No, uh, yeah. absolutely not. Yeah. So, uh, I, you know, for me, if I had to rate all four in order, they're honestly in order of release. Uh, my favorite is the first one, second one, th- second favorite, third and fourth. So, so you, Temple of Doom is second for you? Temple of Doom is actually second for me, yeah. Oh, I know wow. it, gets, it gets a lot of hate here, but <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of okay. it, I, I'll admit a lot of it is warranted. It's not not that great of a film. I just. Oh, I you'll be you'll admit it. Huh? You'll admit oh, it. Yeah. I've never you'll once sit here and said it's you'll perfect. just the obvious truth. You will just come out and acknowledge like an elephant standing there. Oh, I admit there is an elephant. <laughs> standing there <laughs> i admit i admit it has on this side you know temple of doom sucks pretty bad but <laughs> oh, wow <laughs> and all of this is in hindsight people let me tell you because <laughs> back in 1984 <laughs> he was not singing that tune <laughs> <laughs> oh no i was like oh no she oh no she oh no she oh no she yes we all drank the uh the yeah the Kali kool-aid <laughs> <laughs> we are it. going to die <laughs> <laughs> no come on we talk i think didn't we talk about it after our first showing that's like hey, what's going on here oh well, you, yeah we, we <laughs> right, the, the, the musical it. number the begin- didn't the didn't musical number the- at least get in the and the and the <laughs> dinner scene with the just the, you know and Everything. You may be giving us too much credit. <laughs> I don't remember really? that. We were no. just happy as we were just I happy. Think this, as is, uh, this yeah. is history talking at this point, looking back, you know, <laughs> going, yeah, that really wasn't as good as we thought it was in the day. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, I, I like it. I do, you know, and I like I like the third one too. You know, the top three are easily, you know, one, two, and three. Four is a distant fourth. Um, but yeah, because for me when they tried to do, uh, I, I felt like with Last Crusade, they were trying too hard to recreate their original feel. Uh, and I thought they just came up way too short. I liked Sean Connery being in there. I thought it was good, but I, I'm just not as big of a fan of it as everybody seems to be. Everybody just seems yeah, to gush, yeah. gush over that idea. And I'm just like, yeah. it was all right, you know, but it by, by no means, I just, I don't know. I think something about the it. The best part was him and Sean Connery together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they did and a the, great job together. Yeah, there were some. I, I remember seeing scenes. in the theater the initial scene with uh, um, Rivers Phoenix, wasn't mm-hmm. that, who played the young Indiana yeah, River in that? Phoenix. Yep. River Phoenix, yeah. Um, that was a great scene to see in the theater the first time because yeah. he was striking as young Indiana Jones. Yeah, and he really was. It, it, yeah. it gave you more like this feeling of like wild possibilities of, wow, this character you know, they could do things with him as a young kid or whatever. But when you watch it now, and even even shortly after, you know, um, 
it was again too on the nose like every single thing like he comes across the whip he you know snakes he gets probably a guy and he even gets the look from the guy because the guy's dressed like what he's eventually gonna and, dress and, like. and, i mean yeah. at some point did they even give him the scar on his chin i can't remember he did yeah he because the first time he yeah. tries the whip with the lion he's, and the he caught car. himself with he does it, that yeah. and it comes back and hits him in the, in the so chin, people are gonna yeah. complain about solo and how everything was explained like literally every freaking thing about indiana jones was explained <laughs> in, in one little chase across a, a train or whatever right. it was a good chase you know it yeah, was it well was. done it was well done uh, all the characters and actors were cool and everything that is but again it's like um I don't know. You got to remember these things were just an evening in the theater. Yeah. You know, we weren't supposed to take them home until home video and they didn't know what they were on to then either, but <laughs> we weren't supposed to just analyze it to death, you know, right. Yeah. We're supposed to have it. And, and Temple of Doom, I remember you know, that, that got the PG 13 because right. of how no, violent the original, it was. The original film. And we couldn't give a, PG-13 you know, <laughs> about how violent it was. We were yeah. Like, what? Too violent? what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, I, I, rem- I, rem- I remember though one of my <laughs> most vivid memories from seeing that the first time was when they're on the rope bridge and Indiana looks around everywhere and he realizes there's no way out and he goes shit or oh shit or whatever he mm-hmm. said and it was the first time they let Indiana just like cuss or Indy cuss on screen clearly you know like mm-hmm. with no other distractions mm-hmm. and there was a guy with his kid behind me and he said Oh, and he shouldn't cuss. Because <laughs> like, like, it was silent. You know, it was like silent for a second. Oh, and, uh, and I was like, dude, have you read the script from the first movie? Because I have. And it's, like, huge shit. and it's like, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, fuck, Jesus, fuck, damn it. While he's getting all beat up and everything. You're like, and if you go back and watch the movie, you can hear it in the background. They're like screaming cuss words at each other all the time when they're beating the, getting beaten by Nazis and shit. So it's like, no, Indiana never, he never worried about some, right, some curse curses around <laughs> exactly, but it's almost no. like they forgot that and made that a big moment or something. It was weird. Yeah, 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 exactly. So what, the... what surprised me about the third one was um, when we heard they were going to cast Sean Connery as Indy's father. I was expecting, you know, a James Bond. He'd be an adventurer like Indy was, you know, kind of the mm-hmm. the grounding of what Indy would become. And instead to have him play an academic, I thought that was wonderful. That was, yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was a great way to do it. Yeah. 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 It was played, it was played for so much comedy, but they hit the right note with it. it yeah. Was, yeah. 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 And he yeah. was did a, he did a great job. Everybody's used to seeing Sean Connery as you know, the tough guy, a tough uh Scotsman and all that. And uh instead he came out as unaware of anything but the books yeah. in front of him. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Which, huh, I wonder who that reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never Do known I... any academic types, trust no, me, they did a good job of depicting that. <laughs> that's true, that's true. I'll admit it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, the third the third one I thought is my second favorite. Um I put you know, we talked about this before. I put Tipple of Doom at the bottom. Um the I actually skull. yes, I actually like Crystal Skull better than Tipple of Doom. And I was kind of surprised mm. at when t- when Crystal Skull came out, all the people that were mad about aliens. And the atomic yeah, we have bomb a scene. Of people's faces <laughs> off in the first very uh, first it's, movie. It's 1950s. It, it seemed like that was a threat that was appropriately dated to me. You know, like you you have Nazis. I'm not saying in the it was out of, one, out of place or out of time, but uh. it shows you how it shows you how things have changed. It shows you how things have changed, though. The idea of oh. We'll have Indy jump in a refrigerator and he'll get blown up <laughs> a mile and a half and he'll crawl out and be fine. That you know, back in 1980, that might have flown, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But it was, it was, it was not an A list idea. I have a feeling yeah. that idea had been around for a long time. Yeah, some other project or something. And they were bound to yeah, the found a way it, yeah. to, to work it into this one and not good. You know, just <laughs> not good. And I remember every year the irony is. They'd ask Harrison Ford, any new any progress on a new indie? We're just waiting on the right script, waiting on the oh, you mean the one with you in the fridge? And <laughs> right. Is that the one you're waiting on and the monkey oh, chain? No. Yeah, they got a lot of black about that. Yeah. Oh, it's like, no. like that was their yeah. go to excuse for 20 Come years. On, dude. You like, don't oh, read, we just don't, don't have the right you script. You don't yet. read these. You know, now it's perfect. someone now tells it's perfect. you it's the right script. It's aliens and it's 
atomic explosions and being yeah and they didn't even three finish miles the until, they, until the yeah. end of the movie they were working on it the whole time because right. they were going well, back you, and got, and you guys are filling me with dread for indiana and his dial soap whatever the dial this new movie <laughs> <laughs> the dial bar of soap. yeah the dial bar of soap of <laughs> the soap of destiny or whatever the it is you're going destiny. after yes <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> um, the deodorant of destiny. It will be fine. It will be fine. <clears throat> it will be fine. Well, we will know next week regardless. Yep. We are this, one week away from this time, uh, this less time than next one week, week. I'll already yeah. know. Yeah, because I'm we're going to see it Friday night. So Bola Ram, you stole that village's flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to get them back. <laughs> they go great with this Pepsi One. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so let me ask you one one final question. All right, yep. make a prediction. Where do you think this final Indiana Jones movie that's coming up will sit in the rankings of all of the movies? Number four. Really? Yeah, I think it'll only Crystal it'll Skull. only top Crystal Skull. I think I'm afraid. Yeah, it's Ooh. a little top. It'll top Simple and Two for Gun Night. <laughs> <It'll>, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling I'm going to be optimistic. And I'm going to think it's going to be number three for me. I think it will too. That's what I'm predicting. You're going to think it's which one? I'm sorry. Say it again. I think it'll be, I think it'll be third on my list. If I, if I had to make okay. a list, I would go Raiders, then um, the quest for the grail, whatever, <clears throat> whichever movie that one was. Crusade, last crusade. Crusade. And now the dial of doom or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> then... Dial of doom. <laughs> Then the, yeah. temple, okay. then the temple of destiny then um the, the, uh, of destiny. <laughs> the crystal out of shake case would be last yeah. <sighs> okay <laughs> i i have a question for, i have a parting question for gundark um Uh-oh. for this episode okay <laughs> temple of doom ewok's caravan of courage <laughs> 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 That's a hard one. <laughs> That's a hard one. She said, "Wow." I mean, yeah. I mean, a caravan of courage is like jaw dropping. You know. <laughs> I think a better comparison ways, is yeah. Battle for Indoor. Oh, because it indoor, actually okay. has a temple type structure <laughs> that they're fighting. Oh, that's over true. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> right. It has an evil kind of wizard <laughs> witch in it, and, wi- and yes, evil, yes. yeah, a buggy type cult. I don't know. Cult. That's not. It that's has not Wilfred fair. Brimley being the <laughs> yeah, okay. Type yeah. Okay. All right. That definitely makes it. That beats Temple of Doom for me. Also, it's also it's sort of PG thirteen because the whole family gets killed off screen. Oh, yeah. like, run, they like run off. They run off screen and go. <laughs> oh, he's dead. They're immediately killed. <laughs> he got back. Oh, he's I'm dead. Not dead. <laughs> oh, he's dead now. Oh, oh golly. <laughs> <laughs> and the little boy on indoor, after seemingly about to recover, <laughs> <laughs> got the icy cold hand of death upon him. <laughs> Close upon his, his heart and brachial <laughs> tubes. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think the Brimley connection. I mean that that makes that movie. Yeah, that movie is uh, beats Temple of Doom. I'll I still that. swear too. I swear. <laughs> I swear to God too. Uh, Battle for Endor has the first Star Wars gay relationship in it. I swear it does. Oh yeah. Between who? Wilfred Brimley and the and his yeah. co astronaut. Yeah. 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 If you watch that, <laughs> the subtext is all there. But, yeah. and, and they and I think it was a dude because they find his like skeleton. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, right. Um yeah. I'm trying to see how to remove a person from the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a person. You not will be no. Zoom not Bomb. You. Not you. <laughs> you will be Zoom Bomb. He's targeting you know, the Gundark. You're going to play a new game called revenge. Watch the Gundark. <laughs> <laughs> well, after how many 45, five, six years, which is let's just fuck it all up. <laughs> Over Indiana Jones. So much for our family friendly podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. YouTube's like, yeah, is, there any, in, is there anything yeah, bad like, in here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Greedo, no. Greedo shouldn't no. be cussing. Right. Greedo shouldn't be cussing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the father said to That's his That's out friend. of character for Greedo. It's really hard for for Carillion to edit this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so anyway, I no, I I have a feeling that's either going to be three for me or the, or very close to the bottom if <laughs> if this whole thing of Indiana Jones being this horrible person. Uh, <laughs> if, if they dwell upon that, he really is an awful person. And the drunk academic, yeah. <laughs> the end of his career. and they show like a picture of short round. And she goes, "What happened to him? Oh, I sold him to uh, um, <laughs> who's the woman from the Cooking Network? Or I sold him to Martha Stewart, <laughs> the Guardian Death Gang. <laughs> I sold her to Martha Stewart to knit sweaters for QVC. <laughs> uh, if they if they're doing that shit, then you know, I'm gonna very rapidly." It's gonna drop for me, but and, <laughs> and this Phoebe Waller Bridge, I have no idea about her character. I, I think what the, to expect, I think the yeah. poll will be very yeah, interesting to yeah. see if we added her to that female yeah. poll. Yeah, um, we may have to do a follow up poll afterwards. Yeah, yeah, we may have to do like who is your least favorite character. We don't yeah. we don't like to dwell on the negatives, but we don't like to yeah. bring out and say you know like right, right, which right. actor did the worst job for you exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's totally yeah. pointless. You didn't go out there and go, what's your least favorite <laughs> yeah. Indiana Jones adventure? <laughs> what's the suckiest moment? Um, <laughs> from the movies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it is interesting to, to you know, as, as as long as people are don't go nuts, you know, just like being disrespectful and just, just hate. There's a difference between hate and acknowledging the truth, you know, about something. Yeah. Just, like we can all say Kate Capshaw's character was not, which, what was her name? Uh, Willie Scott. Willie Scott, because I had yeah. keeps calling her Kate when that really was, and it was an act. It was just a character she played. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that character is probably one of my least favorites in all of Indiana Jones. Because mm-hmm. uh, the characters in Crystal Skull, I just don't remember them. It's not like I, I hated them and thought they were terrible. I just don't remember them. Uh, it wasn't a good movie. But she kind of, that character... And the way they did it, they chose to do it. It's not just her. She was directed yeah. to do it that way and everything. It is by no, no yeah, means absolutely. her fault. No absolutely. means at all her fault. Uh, but but the way they chose to go with that character to me ruined that movie. It you know, was just flat, flat out ruined yeah. it. Mm-hmm. And, and so, yeah, which is easy to do. Um, but but part of the formula says you have to have comic relief, but you gotta you've gotta be very careful with it's gotta you... balance it, yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's gotta actually at some point be funny, which she was at times, but yeah, there were some moments, it was just too, it was just too much, you know. Yeah. But somebody thought it was much more amusing than it, and it wasn't her, <laughs> it wasn't her fault, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, well, that's our poll discussion. Um, so uh, we'll have some more coming up this week. If you so uh, call it that. let us know what you think. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we will love hearing from you in the comments. Bring we'll see you on. next time. <laughs>